Hurricane Melissa didn't just hit Jamaica on October 28, 2025. It exposed us. It exposed decades of choices, shortcuts, and lost natural defenses that once protected our island long before we had concrete, highways, or government disaster plans. For years, many Jamaicans believed trees were simply the things that fall in a storm. But Melissa changed that conversation forever. Because the truth is this. It wasn't only the 185 mile per hour winds that tore through Jamaica. It was what those winds found missing. Our trees, our natural shield. And Jamaica paid the price. 8.8 billion US dollars in physical damage. The storm that uncovered a bigger problem. Melissa ripped apart Western Jamaica, battering Hanover, St. James, Westmoreland, and St. Elizabeth. Homes flattened, roads washed away, hillsides collapsed, lives were lost. But when disaster teams reviewed the patterns of destruction, one thing stood out. Communities with fewer trees suffered significantly more damage. It wasn't a coincidence. Where once thick forests had been cut down for housing, farming, charcoal, or quick development, Melissa turned bare slopes into rivers of mud. Where mangroves had been cleared from coastlines, storm surge struck like a hammer. Where gullies lost their vegetation, flood water moved with violent, unstoppable force. Melissa didn't just hit Jamaica. She revealed what Jamaica no longer had. Trees are not victims. They are infrastructure. For decades, Jamaicans were taught that hurricanes mash up trees, but the real science flips that upside down. Trees protect us during hurricanes, more than most people ever knew. Here's how. Number one, trees slow down hurricane winds. A single mature tree can drop wind speed by 20 to 30% within a short distance. Those few seconds of slowed wind can mean the difference between a roof staying on or blowing into the next parish. Number two, trees drink stormwater before it floods us. Forested land absorbs up to 50% more rainfall than cleared land. Bare soil becomes rivers. Rooted soil becomes a sponge. Melissa delivered over a foot of rain in some parishes. The parishes with the least tree cover drowned the fastest. Number three, trees hold the hills together. Roots lock soil in place. Once the roots are gone, the slope is no longer a slope. It's a landslide waiting for rain. Many of the mudslides that wiped out homes in the West happened in areas where forest clearance had slowly crept up the mountainsides. Number four, trees break up storm, surge before it reaches us. And this is where Jamaica's story becomes even more urgent. Mangroves, the first line of defense we removed. When Jamaicans think storm protection, they think concrete seawalls, revetments, and high ground. But across the Caribbean, scientists call mangroves something else. Nature's bulletproof vest. Mangroves reduce storm surge by 20 to 60%, depending on how thick the forest is. They break, the waves slow the water and trap debris. But here is the painful truth. Jamaica destroyed more than 70% of its mangroves over the last few decades. And when Hurricane Melissa came, the coastline felt the consequences. Communities where mangroves still survive reported lower surge levels. Areas where mangroves were removed for development or fishing ponds took a direct hit. Businesses that once sat behind natural protection were suddenly exposed. The ocean remembers every tree we removed. The hurricane simply revealed it. Jamaica once had an armor of trees. Older Jamaicans often say the island used to be greener. They are right and the numbers prove it. In the 1950s, Jamaica had over 60% forest cover. By the 1980s, heavy bauxite mining and charcoal production took a visible toll. The 1990s and early 2000s brought unregulated hillside clearance and rapid urban expansion. 
Today, Jamaica has less than 30% intact forest cover. Every decade of deforestation removed another layer of protection, another shield, another barrier between us and the storms we always knew would come. Melissa simply arrived in Jamaica with half the natural protection it once had. Why this matters for every Jamaican. Trees are not just environmental issues. They affect every part of Jamaican life. Number one, flooding is worse without trees. Bare land turns rainfall into violent runoff. This is why communities that never used to flood suddenly flood every storm season. Number two, coral reefs die without trees. When soil washes into the sea, sediment smothers coral. Coral reefs reduce storm surges, so when they die, storms reach further inland. Trees protect rivers. Rivers protect reefs. Reefs protect coastlines. Coastlines protect communities. Everything is connected. Number three, drought gets worse when trees disappear. Trees help clouds form and stabilize local rainfall patterns. Without trees, dry seasons get drier and hurricane seasons get more dangerous. Number four, food security depends on trees. Forests protect water sources that farmers need during and after storms. When we lose trees, we lose rainwater, fertile soil, and crop stability. Melissa didn't just damage homes, it damaged farms, rivers, reefs, and everything connected to them. Hope, the tree movement is already happening. Jamaica isn't starting from zero. In fact, we already started something powerful. We just need to expand it. The National Tree Planting Initiative produced 1.7 million seedlings and nearly reached its 3 million goal. Schools, churches, alumni groups, businesses, and community volunteers joined hands in a quiet revolution. But Melissa proves something important. Planting isn't enough. We need protection and restoration, fast. Mangroves must be restored. Hillsides must be replanted. Riverbanks must be strengthened. Gullies must be revegetated. Communities must plant and protect the trees around them. This is no longer environmental work. This is national survival, what every Jamaican can do. This is where hope becomes action. Plant one tree in your yard. Defend the trees already standing. Encourage your MP, your school, your church, and your community group to plant native species. Support mangrove restoration wherever you live. Coastlines depend on it. Rebuild homes and communities with trees, not against them. And most of all, change the way we see trees. They are not hurricane victims. They are hurricane protection. Jamaica cannot control the wind. We cannot weaken the storms, but we can rebuild the shield we once had. The next hurricane is already forming somewhere. The question is, will Jamaica face it bare or protected? Please join this channel, Impacting Jamaica, for more content like this as we focus on rebuilding Jamaica better and stronger.